When they have a processing center uh, coming into Cornwall, um, they compensate for the hotel and they compensate for the food at those locations. But for an example, the municipal accommodation tax, they're paying Ramada and Dev for their services and covering their costs. Well, the city's losing you know, $300,000 a year in municipal accommodation tax. That should be considered directly on there that if you're compensating the hotels, you should, there's other direct things you can compensate as well. So I think it's changing that mindset that there are certain services that have to throw, flow through the province and being refunded through there. But I also think they can have a physical person on the ground to coordinate and there are some relationships and some funding they can give directly and locally that can start to make an impact very quickly. I don't want to get into the weeds on this, but it seems kind of curious they wouldn't make that a condition of the contract. Because accommodation is accommodation, a head and a bed is a head and a bed. Devs probably getting more money per guest than what they would charge a tourist and not having to pay the mat on it. Agreed. I'd likely have more to say about uh, the, the relationships with the contractors. I don't know the new gentleman that owns the, the Ramada property, but that has been a point of my frustration that in Dev and signing these contracts, look, it is every free business, free enterprise. It was an open RFP for them to bid on this. It was sole sourced at the beginning, but this more recent one of being open. But I think there were some leverage tools that they could have used in their private business to try to help alleviate some of the general services. Somebody made a point today that I thought was really good that there's a room capacity. Yes, you can sign a contract and have those rooms for X number of months. Is there a social capacity to handle the individuals that are coming in? through social services, through health, and through coordination, is there a structure there? And that really hit home, I think, and I hope hit home for IRCC, is to this point. So I think uh, Deb and Ramada, uh, they have a right to enter into these contracts. But I also think as a community partner and a local player here, they have some leverage themselves to say, look, if we're gonna take this on, you also should help with the municipal accommodation tax. You should have these relationships to do that. Um, I will have more to say on that probably down the road, but uh, I agree completely. They have a role in this as well, and I'll just say at a high level, I think they could have done more.